I've shown you pillowcase. How did you even say that? <laughs> Today is the day. Bitch. I'm moving up. What? The main reason I wanted to move out is because I just feel like that is the next step that I need to take in order to actually like evolve and grow and um, progress in life. I really feel like I am ready for that or, or not ready for that. And that is why I need to do it in order to actually develop as a person and develop more skills. Like I need to get my own space, have my own responsibilities, have bills to pay, have things to look after, have myself to look after. Jack is not gonna miss me harassing him every day. I love you. Oh, he nodded at me. I'm coming over and you can't escape it. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you so much. You really don't care. Right then, lads, I've decided a strategy on how I'm going to survive here. I've decided I'm gonna quickly run around the kitchen and just make a note in my phone of anything that I might need. Just absolutely anything, and then I can take that list to the supermarket! Toaster. I have a microwave. Now, I actually, I wanna get an espresso machine. I've never had one before, but I wanna actually up my coffee game. Am I gonna be walking one minute down the road to Starbucks every day? Yes, but I wanna have the option. I've always wanted to have my own espresso machine and come down, not come down in the morning. I'm not gonna have stairs. Oh, what the fuck? I'm just gonna walk out of my bedroom, straight into the kitchen, cause it's not very big, and make a coffee with my espresso machine. But for people who don't want that kind of coffee, just if people want a couple tea, a couple, a couple tea. Great, okay, it's a really good day today. I wanna have good hospitality going on here. I wanna have a good raise it. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try and speak. Jack, this is a big moment, okay? Jack, he's preparing himself. Jack, this is a big moment, okay? I'm so sorry I got to leave you. Oh. This is actually emotional. I love you so much. Bye. I will see you soon, my king. You've got to feel the same emotion as me right now. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. Ah. And that's it. We're ready to drive. I'm here. It's literally like half one in the morning. Fucking shattered, mate. I'm fucking shattered. Had to do so many trips to and from the car, taking all the stuff like in and out, but we've got everything sorted. I've literally filled the office room with all the bags and stuff, like everything that needs to be like actually packed away. I mean, unpacked. I don't know what I'm going to pack. Anyway, <coughs> about okay. Oh, I'm too tired to film right now. I've got an itchy vagina. Not that that has any relevance. So I got here and realized that I didn't have a duvet or anything of the sort. So I had to go to Asda. It came to 85 pounds. This is the first adulting activity that I'm gonna be doing in this apartment. I mean, putting a cover on a duvet isn't exactly adulting, but I'll tell myself it is. Sorry, this was 28 pounds for a duvet. Like I did not realize how much money I'm gonna be spending like just to set this place up, like with the bare necessities. <laughs> So I'm either gonna have like black satin bedding or if it doesn't look right, then I'll just have like all white probably. For now, we've just got matte black bedding. I don't know what's like which way is which. Oh, can you see me? Oh, fuck. Right, look, I know that wasn't a hard task, but I honestly thought I'd struggle more with it. So we're off to a good start. This is a reversible gray and black duvet cover. Don't know. <gasps> Don't even tell me it's not reversible and it's just like that on either side. That is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Say I'm lying in bed, thinking I look all nice and blacked out, and then it moves and you see that. <laughs> Asda, what are you doing though? Like, who designed that? Put in minimal effort, that's fine. You, but you, like, you've put in more effort, you've gone out of your way to make that look shit. Like, that's not normal. It would have required less effort to make it a fully black quilt. Why would you do that? How did you get this out? That's thin as fuck. Now this is going to be a struggle. Oh, fuck off. Oh, back pain. Oh, I just hit the light. I'm actually a walking disaster. I think I've done it, you know. It took me like 13 minutes to do that. Okay, hello everyone. It is my first day in the apartment on my own. One thing I've realized is that I literally have no privacy in here. There's like all the buildings around me and I, I would have thought like with the distance between us that I wouldn't be able to see them so vividly. <clears throat> but I can see people's facial expressions. I can see what they're doing. I can just see them sitting. Like I can see someone right now. They are far away from me and I can see him very well. It's surprising. It's quite disturbing. It's scary because every single person that I've looked at 
has had no idea that I'm watching them. That's, that makes me sound like a fucking weirdo, but... What freaks me out is that every single person that I've looked at has not seen me looking at them. Like, they had no idea. They were just, like, cooking something in the kitchen at the back of their apartment, and I was watching them. I was just watching, like, they, they have no idea. I dread to think how many people... How many people are watching me right now? I have no idea. I woke up late, and it's 2.15, and I've still not eaten. I don't have any essentials. I don't have bowls, mugs, glasses. I have nothing. No cutlery, nothing. So I'm just gonna order again, and then I'm gonna order... Tonight as well. Look at us chilling together. This is weird. It's a weird vibe. Hello everyone. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Sorry to interrupt, but I would just like to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. So, I've worked with Skillshare quite a lot on my channel. I really like them, you know, I wouldn't promote something that I don't like. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for you to choose from. The class topics range from things like music production, fine art, creative writing, productivity, animation, film and video, like literally anything that you are interested in or want to learn, Skillshare will have it. The class that I'm currently taking is learn how to mix music with Young Guru. As a lot of you know, I have been working on my own music for a while now. I've done music my whole life and it is getting released this year. And I'm just trying to teach myself how to produce to a high quality standard and classes like these are the things that are going to help me get there. It's just so easy. It's so easy to learn from home now. Skillshare is made for learning so there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes and it is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Woo! Skillshare! I love Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So you, you literally have nothing to lose. Just click the link and get a free trial. Like, why not? You know what I mean? Okay, back to the video. I got my Nudo Sushi Box. It's good. Very, very tasty. However, I usually only get through like... You, I can't speak. I usually only... I usually only get through like half of it before it just gets... Just gets a bit much. But this is what we're dealing with. This is my salmon teriyaki box. Oh my god, look at this fucking cutlery right there. I, I can't speak. Like, it's actually hurting me now. Look at this fucking cutlery that I got yesterday. These. Plastic. Plastic. I don't... What? They're only temporary. I'm not just gonna keep buying plastic forks. I'm just waiting until I do my, uh, like, proper cutlery shop and get, like, mugs, plates, glasses and all that shit. I think I'm gonna do that today, you know. I made a list of things I need to buy, but it's so long and it's not in categories. Like, I'm literally just gonna have to go to Ikea or Asda or wherever and just go through the list, like, bit by bit and just go backwards and forwards across the shop. Literally no one cares. What the fuck is that? Ah! <laughs> Been to Ikea, I've got a load of essentials. Still got quite a lot to buy. I've literally spent like 600 pounds today. It's not funny. This was literally up to there yesterday. Good times. What a fucking mess. I've got these as temporary covers before I got satin ones and I fucking hate the black and blue. Like actually look at that, it looks it looks dreadful, so I'm probably gonna have to get white. All of my shoes that I've still not put away. I'm thinking of getting a dressing table and putting it there and having like a mini vanity mirror. The lighting in my bathroom. It's the type of lighting where it just casts the shadows down over your face. It's not, it's not a vibe. Can you see that? You think I'm getting ready with that lighting? Oh, that's a nice hair. Right, James, you wanna film me? Okay. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 fucking hell. That was something special. That was something. <laughs> oh, God. Like, what time is it? It's quarter past one. I've had a whole day. Wait, where are you this. looking for the time? The microwave. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you see from there? Whoa. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Okay. I've just spent like two hours playing Fortnite. <laughs> It's 20 past one and I'm deciding to clear out this room which I've been putting off clearing out for three months. I've been here for three months and half my wardrobe has been on the floor in here. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard you do that. We are having lots of fun right now. <laughs> I'll turn off camera. Hey bitches. So, what the f 
fuck. I've been here for three months and my shit has been in here. I've been in lockdown for the majority of the time that I've been here. So I've just been on another, on an, so I've just been on another planet. Like I don't know what is going on anymore. I wanted to turn this room into a music studio. I am gonna do it, but we're running out of time. I'm probably gonna move somewhere else after the lease. I need, I have all, am I all right? I have half of my wardrobe in this room. What this has taught me though, is how much of my wardrobe I do not give a fuck about. I have 90% of my wardrobe in here and I have lived for three months without touching any of it. Three months, been getting content, been getting pictures. I don't care about this stuff. Oh, I hate sorting shit out. Like just looking at this now makes me feel a little bit ill. Anyway. Oh, fuck me up the bum hole. Like what? I actually have to sort this out and then I have to set it all up as a studio as well. So it's gonna be really fun. This has been on my to-do list for three fucking months. That's when you know there's something wrong with you. Right, if we have a quick three, two, one. Okay, one, that was probably a really shit transition. Two, we've not really got very far in here. Yes, the clothes are off my floor, but I'm currently in the works of turning this into my music studio. So there's gonna be another video on my channel soon where I am transforming this into my music studio. Now is just not the time. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on from that. It's six in the morning. No, I've not slept. I got up at 4 p.m. This stuff is literally not gonna be built until like 8 a.m. And that's a sad thing. It is six in the morning. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be building right now is a chest of drawers that's gonna go about here from Ikea, and then a dressing table, which is gonna go there. I'm also gonna change my bed in to some white satin sheets, and I'm putting a mini vanity mirror on there, so we're gonna see how it all looks. Right now, I'm not actually as tired as I might seem. I'm feeling pretty okay, so we're gonna see how that goes. I've also never built any furniture on my own in my life. Oh, my hair's pissing me off. I can't even have it in my face right now. The other day, I got up at 20 past 5 p.m. See, I say these things to people, and then they're like, uh, didn't you sort your sleeping schedule out? And I'm like, yeah, and then I fucked it up again. Normal Normalize being a mess. <laughs> so this is box number one. <laughs> oh, fuck off. What the fuck was that? Oh, yeah. Right, I'm just looking at all this stuff now and I'm really not convinced they've sent me all the parts. I'm just not. Where's the actual top and sides and back of the drawers? Also, watch me get my vanity mirror out and it's just like smashed. I'm just not even going to be surprised at this point. Itchy vagina check. Oh wait, maybe I'm be. Oh my god, are some of my other boxes in the other room? Oh god, oh Chloe. I just spent the past hour complaining about not having part of my order, which was actually in the other room. Good news is it's here. Bad news is I can't just sit and complain anymore and I actually have to build it. <laughs> oh shit, this is, oh look at my socks. Wow, really good content coming from the Clomeister. This drawing makes no sense. Like, what the fuck? Less of the negativity, I've got this. Okay, let's fucking go. What the fuck? I did it. Oh, I know I didn't. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Okay, not gonna lie, I got on a roll and I literally have almost the full dressing table done. It's literally took me like 20 minutes. Look at me go, I really don't have a good feeling about the drawers. I'm very nearly there. It's actually, this is really easy. It's been nice and satisfying. The last stretch, come on. Okay, so I got this far, put it all together and then noticed a chip in the top of it. Very, very tiny chip. That is gonna piss me off. Actually, no, I'm lying. Like, I literally will not give a fuck about that. There's a part of me that's like, Chloe, you spent a lot of money on this desk. Like, really don't just let that slide. But then the thought of taking all of this apart and then sending it back and getting a new one and going through this whole process again. Only for another chip to arrive at some point. I just don't care enough. I really don't. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna have more moving vlogs coming soon where I actually sort the place out. But I hope you enjoyed the video, either way. Anyway, I will see you again soon. Stay tuned, hopefully in a week's time. Maybe not even that. Goodbye, friends.